Welcome to Spiritually Southern. My name's Amanda Reed, otherwise known as Spiritually Southern Mama, and this is where we talk about astrology, tarot cards, oracle cards, witchy shit, and absolutely everything under the sun in between. So, sit down, pour yourself a drink, and enjoy. Welcome to the shit show. So here we have a picture of the full moon when it peaks at 7.52 a.m. along with the other planetary bodies in the sky. A couple of points that I want you to look at are the transitions as follows. Look at the circled areas on the chart. Okay, so it's the moon sextile Saturn. It's the moon square with Neptune. It's the moon trine with Mars and the moon opposed the sun. So first let's talk about the moon opposed the sun. So for those of you who don't know, an opposition in layman's terms is, well, two people staring at each other across the table and they can't seem to see eye to eye unless they listen to the other person's point and take that into perspective and then come to a compromise. Gemini and Sagittarius are staring each other eye to eye and they're kind of fighting it out to see who's right or who's wrong or where they can compromise. So the sign of higher learning, higher education, the higher self, being both the student and the teacher is looking across from the sign that rules over the local community and how you fit into that and so this is going to be a time where we kind of go reclusive with our emotions and kind of look internal to see what we need to let go of with our personality that doesn't exactly fit how we want to with our larger community, okay? Because Sagittarius rules over kind of your long distance friends and even online acquaintances, believe it or not. So for my college students out there, this is gonna be a time when you don't want to let your emotions take a hold. I understand you may not wanna do your schoolwork, but you gotta do it anyway. And for those of us who aren't in college, with the Neptune retrograde coming up in two weeks, which don't worry, I'll be making a video on that too, so you guys can know how to navigate that one. But with that energy coming into play, and already the moon has got a square going on with Neptune, we really need to keep our emotions in check and kind of put our nose to the grinder here, okay? Because Gemini has got us looking around in seven different directions, and Sagittarius is kind of like, Ehh. The moon opposed the sun can also make you extremely confrontational and competitive with those around you. So make sure that we're not succumbing to those emotions, especially caused by the moon in square with Neptune, okay? Because Neptune is already making, especially the mutable signs, so Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, and Sagittarius already kind of antsy and on the feelings of like looking at their insecurities and their fears and turning it into the polarities of emotions. So either you're feeling really, really sad or you're really, really mad. Either way, don't let yourself get tripped up on those emotions and start beating yourself up on the inside or getting really confrontational with other people. Take a step back. Again, make sure you're double checking everything so that way you don't fall flat on your face with rumors. Make sure that it's not petty mess that you're getting pulled into and make sure that you aren't messy because right now Saturn is still in retrograde and it's weeding out the snakes for us, especially our Capricorn and Aquarius placements, okay? So take some time if you need to, take a step back from like social media and things like that. Make sure that you're learning when to enforce that boundary or when to step back and let the universe handle it for you. Because Saturn is trying to teach us those lessons and teach us to boss up. And Neptune is teaching us when to take a step back and look at the situation, just kind of let the universe work itself out. Or when we need to stand up and go, hey, enough's enough. I'm not putting up with this shit from you no more. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about the two aspects of Neptune squaring the moon and Mars trining the moon, because they're going to really play in conjunction with each other, okay? So Mars, currently under the sign of Aries, and Neptune, currently under the sign of Pisces, have their aspects with the moon, currently in Sag, okay? So Mars being the planet of your drive, of all of the emotions in their most passionate and carnal form, uh, being the ruler over the first house, the house of self, right? You're going to be really defensive about everything about you. 
okay? And you're going to be super driven to get shit done, and you're going to want things to happen in the way you want them to, okay? But the planet of illusion, the planet of lies, the planet of spirituality, drugs, sex, and alcohol, Neptune is going to be kind of putting its energy on there to put some illusions in front of your face, okay? So make sure you know fact from fiction before you let Mars and Aries get you fucked up from Flora. And make sure that you use that drive for things that are constructive and positive in your life, okay? Make that Mars drive work for you. Things like self-care are going to help with those increased emotions. Things like taking some time back and doing some things that you enjoy, okay? You don't want to work yourself into the ground. You also don't want to go to jail. So make sure that we're taking that time for ourselves and we're looking at the aspects of the situation in their entirety versus what our vision is seeing right in front of us instead of looking at everything, including the peripherals. So let's talk about the final aspect that we need to talk about with the full moon in Sagittarius, and that is Saturn sextile the moon. Okay, so Saturn being in retrograde, teaching us basically how to boss the fuck up and get rid of all the snakes in the grass that are holding us back from being truly ourselves and truly at the state that we need to be in, breaking those chains about those toxic relationships, right, with the moon. So basically, these two are kind of seeing eye to eye, and we're seeing the limits that we have on ourselves in regards to our emotional state, okay? So basically, we already know because of Saturn how our anger is going to make us react to things. So Saturn is going to come in the clutch and remind us, hey, remember that last time you snapped and how that went out for you? Remember that before you do it again, okay? Saturn is also the planet of the father. It's the planet of structure. It's the planet of climbing the social ladder and the economic ladder as well. So when it comes to this, we're going to understand that we need to keep the friends around us who help us grow and help us go further. And we're going to be able to cut off those toxic connections a lot faster. This aspect is going to help us greatly during the full moon understand when to pull back and when not to. Saturn is helping us out in the clutch in a lot of ways before this Neptune retrograde. So y'all make sure you're paying attention to the lessons that Daddy Saturn is trying to teach you. And that, my friends, is the full moon in Sagittarius on June 14th of 2022. If you're not subscribing to this channel, Anna, please make sure that you do drop in the comments and let me know what you're hoping to manifest what's something you're trying to let go of and one thing you learned in this video and like i always say on tiktok the stars are bay bitches <laughs>